hello guys in this particular video we are going to see how to change the intensity of led bulb with the help of arduino you can see over here this is the arduino id window where you are writing the code for the arduino now the code which i am writing for this particular changing intensity of led is also known to be the pwm that is pulse width modulation I have explained this particular code in one of my video. You can refer that particular video. Here, what I am going to see you show, show you that I will uh, go on writing the code. I will upload the code to the Arduino. I will make the hardware circuit for this particular entire thing, where I am going to change the intensity of LED or uh, what you can say the pulse width modulation. And I'll be showing you the actual hardware circuit, hardware connections over here and uh, finally we can execute the code okay so let's start with this so here uh, void setup you are supposed to write the pin, pin modes over here so you are supposed to take care over here whenever you are having the applications like changing in the intensity or pulse width modulation or if you are going to uh, work with the servo motors always you are supposed to use the pulse width modulation pins or the pwm pins of the arduino so there are total six pwm pins on the arduino and uh, those pins are nothing but the pin number three five six nine ten and eleven so that that pins you can uh, easily identify on the arduino uh, in front of these pins you'll have a wave form like uh, symbol so for, by looking at that wave you can identify that this is nothing but the uh, pwm pin so these pins only you can use for such type of application fine so what i am doing over here i am setting the pin uh, one of the pin uh, as a output pin because that from arduino is supposed to take the output so i am using the pin uh, number 6 as my output pin so here i am writing pin mode 6 comma output okay this code is already explained you can go through this particular code one of my video is there then i am going to use uh, the uh, code which is to be repeated continuously also also known to be the loop okay or the uh, loop code or the code is to be in loop and uh, this code uh, will be writing down over here uh, i am going to create the analog signal because this is the frequency variation uh, signal uh, the variable signal so we will be using the analog signals instead of digital so i will be writing the code and i am obviously getting the output from the arduino so i will write the command over here that is nothing but i will be using analog write analog write then which pin is nothing but the pin number 6 and i am putting 0 here 0 stands for the uh, duty cycle okay 0 means there is no any signal gone okay the led is in the off condition fine then uh, uh, to uh, identify to actually observe the changes i will put one delay over here of one second so to uh, for one second delay you can write the 1000 value so the same code i'm going to repeat again and again so i'm just copying these commands okay and i'll be using over here so here i'm writing the analog uh, write the next uh, percentage will be uh, around the let's say 25 percent so obviously i'll be using 32 value so how come that 32 has come you can refer the code pre, uh, which i have explained earlier in the other video and then you can come they come to know so then i'll have the 64 okay uh, then i will be having let's say 127 okay this is 50% uh then this is 25 percent okay i'll remove this particular thing or rather i will change over here that is 64 then i will write 127 then i'll go for 75 percent that is 191 and then last i'll be having 255 okay so i have removed that to 32 which is not required so now we'll, if you see this is 20 uh, sorry 0 percent intensity 25 percent intensity 50 percent intensity then 75 percent intensity and the 100 percent intensity where the led will be fully uh, will be on okay so this is the code uh, simple code okay now what you are supposed to do you are supposed to compile this code you are supposed to check whether there is any error in the code or not so for that i will be using 
uh, this particular tick mark over here. So before that, before compiling the code, you are supposed to select the board over here. Okay. So click on the board, go to the select other board and board. Here you can see the boards. So here you type Arduino because I am using Arduino Uno board. Arduino Uno. Fine. You will get the selection. Select that and just click on OK. Okay. So when you click on OK, then uh, you can simply compile the code. Okay. So when you compile, you can see over here there is a compiling sketch command will come and once the compiling is done, it will show you the done compiling. Fine. Now the next thing is that I suppose to upload the code in Arduino. Fine. So for that I suppose to connect the Arduino. Already I have connected the Arduino to the uh, desktop over here. Fine. Then you can select the port of the Arduino where rather the port of this particular uh, computer or the desktop or the laptop where the Arduino is to be connected. So wherever the Arduino is connected, you will have the Arduino Uno name. Okay, so that port COM3 is the port. COM1 is the port. So I connected my Arduino to the COM3 port and I have I can see that Arduino Uno is written over there. So I select that particular port and then I will go on uploading the code. Okay, so I'll click simply on the upload code. Once the code is uploaded, here you can again see that the done uploading. Fine. Now we will see the hardware circuit and once the hardware circuit is done, then you can easily see that how the LED is going to get uh, ch uh, changing its intensity. Fine. Okay. So we'll go for the hardware circuit. Okay, so whenever you want to go for the hardware, I'll show you what are the things you require for the hardware circuit one by one. So this is the jumper wire. Okay, I need two jumper wire which are having male to male connection. You can see there is the uh, male point here also there is a male point. Okay, then you need to have the LED bulb. Okay, this is the LED bulb. For the LED you can easily see that there are two terminals. Then uh, these two terminals, one is the positive terminal and other one is the negative terminal. Right. To identify the positive and negative, simply you can see the lengths of this particular legs. So whichever is this having a longer length, that is nothing but the positive terminal and uh, shorter length will not, is nothing but the negative terminal. Fine. Then you need to have the register over here. Okay. So this is the register. This is of uh, 200 ohm resistor Okay, that I am using. Uh, then I am having the breadboard over here. So this is the breadboard on which I will be mounting my LED. And finally I need to have the Arduino board. So this is Arduino Uno board. Okay, I will be using. And to connect my Arduino Uno board with the computer or the desktop or the laptop, let's say, I need to have the USB cable. Fine. So okay, so we will go one by one to connect the things. So I will be connecting, obviously, the, the uh, sequence is like output from the Arduino. I'll be giving it to the LED, but before giving it to the LED, I need to give it to the register because the LED works on the very low voltage. Fine. So what I will do, I will just first mount the LED on Arduino. I'm keeping my positive terminal on this side and the negative terminal over here. Fine. I'll simply connect over here. Okay. So I connected. I have just uh, mounted the LED. Then I will mount the uh, register over here. So you just take care. In the same line, you are just mounting the register over here. Fine. I am mounting the LED over here. Okay. Then I will mount the other terminal of, uh, sorry, register over here. Okay. Then, then now you are supposed to use the jumper wires and you can go on connecting the uh, things. Now, in code you have seen, we have used the pin number 6, which is nothing but the PWM pin. So, on the Arduino board, you look for the pin number 6. Yes, uh, what I have said over here that these are nothing but the wave uh, symbol. Okay, and these are showing nothing but the PWM pins. Fine. So, here I am having the pin number 6 over here. Fine, I will connect it to the pin number 6. Okay, now the pin number 6 cable or the jumper wire, obviously I need to give the input to the register. Okay, give it to the input of register over here. Okay, in the same line, I will put it. And other terminal of the uh, LED, which is, that is nothing but the negative terminal. Okay, I will connect it to the ground of Arduino. Just connect it over here. I will give it to the Arduino ground. So, I'll always keep a habit of counting the numbers so that you can't uh, make a mistake over here. So, this is pin number 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and then you have the ground. 
fine so you are connected so this is what the simple hardware circuit for the uh, pwm okay now i'll just connect my arduino board over here to the computer okay fine i just connected now you can see the led has got on it will change its intensity 25 50 75 100 zero 25 50 75 and 100 so that is how you can go for the pwm or the frequency variable applications okay thank you guys